Hello lovely people, thank you so much for being here. Welcome back if you've been here before and just welcome if you're new here. So I am Amy and today I'm going to take you through a short and sweet little power flow to bring some strength to the arms and the abs. So really focusing on the upper body today. We're going to get straight on into it. Starting out today in a tabletop position. So stacking the shoulders over the wrists, spreading through the fingers, rooting down through the knuckles, having one long line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone, stacking the hips over the knees and hugging the abs up towards the spine. Just take a few moments here to connect to your body to connect to your breath, filling up the belly with air on each inhale and drawing the navel back towards the spine on each exhale. Noticing the sensations in the body, noticing the thoughts in your mind, and noticing the quality of your breath. Now let's start to connect our breath and our movement. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, but keep that core nice and engaged. And then exhale, round through the spine, drawing the navel in. Inhale, lift the chest, send the tailbone up towards the sky and exhale round, drawing the hips and the chin towards one another. Inhale, lift. Exhale, create that nice rainbow with your spine. One more time. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest and exhale, articulating through all the sections of the spine. Now come to a flat back. And let's just take a moment here to warm up through the wrists. So rocking our way back and forth, bringing the weight into the wrists, just taking it nice and gently. So our wrists can be delicate. So don't take it too far. Just listen to your body. Now turn the fingers to face out towards the sides of the mat and rock from left to right. Turn the fingertips to face you and again rock the weight back and forth keeping a micro bend in the elbows. Now come onto the backs of the hands, fingertips facing towards you and once again, really, really gently rocking back and forth. There should be sensations, but no pain. So if there's pain, then just back off. Turn those fingertips to face one another, rock from side to side. And then come back to your tabletop position and inhale, lift that left leg and the right arm off the mat, coming into our spinal balance, keeping that front arm and that back leg parallel to the ground, finding one long line of energy from the right fingertips to the left toes. Inhale here, then exhale round, draw that knee in towards the nose. Inhale, extend, exhale round. Inhale, extend, exhale, round. Two more times. Inhale, extend, exhale, round. Inhale, extend, exhale, round. Now inhale to extend. Keep that left leg lifted. Plant that right hand on the mat and open yourself out into a modified side plank. So you can point the right toes out at a slight angle if it helps you find your balance. Now inhale here, exhale, draw the knee and the elbow together. 
inhale extend exhale touch them together inhale extend exhale touch two more times inhale extend exhale touch inhale extend exhale tap them together now inhale extend hold here and make your way back to your tabletop position let's go straight for the other side inhale left arm forward right arm back take two deep breaths here keeping that spine nice and long keeping the core engaged inhale here exhale round tapping elbow and knee towards one another inhale extend exhale round inhale extend and round two more times breathe in get long breathe out round inhale extend last time draw that knee and the elbow in grow long plant that left hand down and spin your way out into a side plank one long line of energy from the front fingertips to the back toes now inhale here and exhale tap that knee and the elbow together extend and tap extend and tap two more times extend and tap extend and tap extend get long and then come back to your tabletop position tuck the toes under and then lift them to hover just a few inches off the mat you can do this with the tops of the feet flat if you wish or you can do it with the toes tucked under whichever one feels like it gets your core more fired up take two more deep breaths in here feeling it maybe in the legs as well and breathe out straighten those legs plant those heels maybe lengthen your stance slightly coming into your downward facing dog take a few deep breaths in here now you're going to lift that right foot to hover a few inches off the mat really root down through the left foot and the right hand and lift that left hand to hover a few inches off the mat and we're just going to hold here for three deep breaths now place that left hand back on the mat keep that right leg lifted as you rock your way forward into a three-legged plank and we're going to hold here deep breaths here now tap that right knee to the right elbow take it back to your three-legged plank back to the right elbow back to your three-legged plank back to the right elbow and then take it all the way up to a three-legged downward facing dog draw that knee in towards the nose step it through between the hands sweep that right arm up towards the sky now without dragging it see if you can step your way back to a side plank keeping that right leg lifted inhale here exhale elbow to knee inhale extend exhale elbow to knee inhale extend exhale elbow to knee inhale extend exhale elbow to knee extend and hold and then flip your way over into a wild thing deep breaths in here and then breathe out rock your way back to plank maybe lower down through a chaturanga breathing into upward facing dog and then breathing out to downward facing dog Now lift that left foot a few inches off the mat, lift that right hand a few inches off the mat and take three deep breaths here. Now 
now place that right hand back on the mat keep the left foot lifted as you rock your way forward into a three-legged plank holding here and then tapping that left knee to that left elbow back to three-legged plank tap it to the elbow back to your three-legged plank back to the elbow three-legged plank and then this time lift up to your three-legged dog exhale draw that knee in towards the nose step that foot through inhale sweep that left arm up towards the sky and then exhale step your way back to a side plank without dragging that left foot keep it lifted if you can inhale here exhale elbow to knee inhale extend exhale tap inhale extend exhale tap inhale extend exhale tap extend and hold and then flip your way open into a wild thing and then rock your way back to plank work your way down through a chaturanga inhale lift the chest exhale back to downward facing dog release that breath through the mouth if you wish now we're going to drop the elbows down into dolphin and then press back up to downward facing dog dolphin dog dolphin dog keep going you can be doing this with one elbow at a time lifting up one at a time and switching whichever one you bring up or down between sides or you can be doing both elbows up and down at the same time two more at your own pace now let's come down to dolphin and hold here walk those feet in towards the hands really pushing out through the shoulders rooting the elbows down into the mat letting go of any tension from the neck and shoulders now inhale sweep that left leg that right leg up towards the sky and place it back down sweep the other leg up towards the sky take it back down back to the first leg and take it down back to the second leg and take it down now step those feet out long coming into a forearm plank forearms are in two parallel lines shoulders stacking above the elbows and release your way down coming into sphinx pose finding a nice opening through the chest now draw those hands back underneath the shoulders press your way up into plank then lift that right foot to hover and the left arm to hover place it back down then lift the left foot to hover and the right arm take it back down back to the first side and back down last time and back down press it back to your downward facing dog breathe in here and breathe out inhale bend through the knees rise up onto the toes and breathe out hop your way forward into a forward fold or just step your way there inhale come up to a flat back then exhale plant the hands on the mat bring the knees up onto the backs of the arms lift one toe 
or one foot at a time off the mat coming into crow pose holding here and maybe landing in a jump back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog inhale rock your way forward to plank and then exhale lower yourself all the way down onto the belly come back into that sphinx pose just find that opening through the chest drawing the shoulders down away from the ears Now from your Sphinx pose, you're gonna extend that right arm out to the right. I'm just gonna shuffle along so I have the space. So extending that right arm to the right and then bringing that left foot up and over, rolling into a juicy shoulder stretch. So maybe just experiment with moving that right arm around to find the deepest stretch. drawing that left knee towards the left hand side unravel yourself come back to center and we'll take it to the other side so extending that left arm out to the left taking that right leg up and over Stamping the right foot onto the ground and opening out into a nice shoulder stretch, a nice twist, a nice hip opener. Really getting so many benefits in just one pose. And come back through centre, unwind. Engage through the core to lift yourself up as you press your way back to child's pose. Resting the head on top of the hands maybe. And then press your way back up to a comfortable seat. Let's just take a moment here, take a few deep breaths. And lift the gaze and there you are done. Hope that got your arms and your abs feeling nice and strong, bringing a little bit of power into your day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, letting me know what you thought of it and maybe like and subscribe to my channel if you fancy it. Hopefully I will see you again soon.